Look, I'm not gonna beat around the bush with you guys. You know why we're here. You clicked on the video, you saw the thumbnail, you're aware of the ramifications of this. This isn't gonna be a surprise to you. It's not gonna be five minutes of lead up and then, oh hey, and you wouldn't believe what we're, what comes next. No, you, we're, we're examining our shit and we're going to tell the future. Fuck it, this is 2019, anything's possible. So this is called Copromancy. It's apparently an ancient art. Let's let's just check out Wikipedia here. Get the quick rundown. Scatomancy is the reading of a person's fortune by examining their bodily excrement or by examining those of an animal. It is also known as Spatalomancy, Spatalomancy, Copromancy, and Spatalomancy. Scatomancy is literally divination by excrement. The process by which excrement is scrutinized is referred to in modern medical terminology as a scatoscopy. In one of Scatomancy's forms, popular in ancient Egypt, kleptoparasitic dung beetles were employed. They shape, roll, and weave dung balls as a sexual display and courtship attractor. The beetles' speed and behavior, as well as the appearance of the dung balls, were all taken into consideration for the prognostications. Yeah, it's pretty much what you expect. It's reading shit to, to tell the future. Uh, it's a D&D &D class, as you can see here, uh, so that's, that's, that's good. Um, but I don't think that that's really what we're looking for here. Let's just go to copromancy.com here, slash FAQ. Future happens. All right. In the past, seers would attempt to peer into the future by means of lots of methods. In fact, lots was one of the methods. The scattering of objects such as dice or rocks, the blah, 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 blah. I like how they go through like two paragraphs here before they actually get to uh, urine and feces. Like you might just stumble upon this and be like, oh man, I'd like to, I'd like to learn about my future. What's involved in this practice? Maybe I need to like mix up some cayenne pepper and some like garlic and, 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 and put it in my eyeballs or something. No, just, just sift through your shit. I wonder if these people have a sponsorship with Jilly Juice. Isn't the practice of coppermancy a little disgusting? Well, it all depends on your point of view. After all, we do not hesitate to use copros to fertilize our crops, fields, or yards, which in turn sustain and support our bodily life. Should we hesitate to use it to fertilize our spiritual lives as well? Yes, I agree, everybody. You should go out and, and eat some fucking miracle grow. That sounds like a good plan. That sounds like a really good plan. Sounds kind of crazy. The appearance of craziness doesn't bother us. Yeah, I mean, if you're sifting through your fucking shit and somebody walks in on you and you're like, Don't, dude, I'm trying to tell the future, shut up! Coppermancy may seem strange at first glance, but perhaps not so strange, considered in light of other human practices. Can we not endure a little ordure in order to have a chance to see our future? Well, I, I can see you having a future of fucking looking through your own shit and probably looking a bit crazy and smelling a bit weird and people not really wanting to be around you. I don't even need to look at my, my shit to figure that one out. That's just a big guess. I guess some magic. Oh, there's a book, is there? Hmm. Oh wait, what the fuck? There is no book. They just have a crudely drawn JPEG of a dollar bill and... What? No, I want to order your book. I want to learn the future. Don't do this to me. Okay, I was skeptical before, but now I want the book. This sucks. The first edition has sold out. Oh, look at this. Look at this quality cover, guys. Look at this amazing cover art. I mean, I know I know they say not to judge a book by its cover, but man. We want to find some proper Coppermancers, all right? Coppermancy, Google search. All right, so what? Smithsonian. Time. Oh, look at this metal album. You know, we don't we don't need any of this shit. We need proper copromancers, okay? Seriously, we have necromancy. I like how eBay really wants you to know that. It's an ad. Se ne necromancy on eBay. Seriously, we have necromancy. I know you won't believe this, guys, but yeah, you can buy some fucked up shit on eBay. We've also got necromancy on Amazon, too, so that's good. Thanks, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Should I be concerned that most of these results aren't in English? I'm not trying to be that guy, but <laughs> we're going to YouTube. We're gonna go to YouTube. There's no way that we won't find some copromancy on YouTube, okay? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. No, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Copromancy. Not necromancy, you fuck! Copromancy. What is it doing? Hurry up! Don't slow me down! Urgh! What the hell is this? Little kid? 
This little kid that was posted 12 years ago, this little kid is probably like almost old enough to drive at this point. This little kid at any point could come back and check out his YouTube and see this picture of him playing with his fucking shit. Thanks, internet. Fecal transplants? No way! Here we go, baby. Scatomancy. Oh, it's just a definition. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, dear God. Shotgun blast poo. I had to work for this one. A classic definition of a shotgun blast. That is the face of a man who records himself shitting for YouTube. Children holding poo? What? Uh-oh. We're finding pigs eating their own shit, but... Okay, actually, yeah, this is Coppermancy. What about Scatomancy? Scatomancy for baritone and piano? Here we go, baby. Scatomancy, the song. What? What? What is the song? Okay, is this music? Does this count as music? Okay, well that's that, I guess. Um... Yeah, so that's the song of, 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 of Scatomancy. Uh... Whatever that was. I love how many videos there are to fucking pronounce Scatomancy. How many- how in demand was this? Look at this, five views, 72 views. How many videos did we really need to pronounce Scatomancy? Look at this man tells the future by looking at you. Yeah, what man? I wanna know what man. Who is this guy? You don't tell me his name. Guys, I really hate to be that guy, but he's an Indian man who reads people's shit. I'm- I really hate to do this. S.S. Singh. Okay, let's find S.S. Singh. Scatomancy. Here we go. Occultworld.com. This is what we want. This'll tell us everything we need to know. Methods. Keep in mind that the methods of fecal fortune telling are based on your first bowel movement of that day. Um, color, okay. Black or dark brown stool indicates that you must make quick decisions today. Brown stool indicates that you will have no real surprises today. Beige stool indicates caution. Green stool indicates turmoil ahead. Yeah, like you might have some kind of illness. Red stool indicates you have blood in your stool. Well, gee, no fucking shit, Sherlock. Blue stool indicates that something is wrong. Blue stool. Okay, now I have a reason to use this. I this was a screen cap that I didn't get to use in the last video that I did, but fucking now I do. Uh, buoyancy. Floating stool indicates that your mood will be generally positive today. Submerged droppings indicates that perhaps it is time for a vacation or a well-deserved break in your routine. Number of droppings. One to three, be wise with your money. Do not spend too much. Be frugal. Four to six, be kind to a stranger today and you will be repaid handsomely. And ten plus droppings, avoid high fiber foods, eat more dairy pro- I like how much of this scatomancy seems to just basically be medical advice, like basic medical advice. Like, yeah, if, you're, if, you're, if your shit is red, you're probably in trouble. Okay, shape. These are the common shapes that may predict specific events during the day. So we got the cigar, a straight long piece, hints that a uh, strong leadership is needed today. Be the first to speak up, take control. We got the banana, a curved loaf indicates serious attitude is required today. Put away childish indulgences and wise up. These uncommon shapes are seldom seen, but are oftentimes more specific and trustworthy. The X. The X? Red flag, beware. Av avoid automotive transit. Yeah, if you're shitting out X-shaped diarrhea or- Oh my god. That, yeah, I would call that a red flag, honestly. The triangle, your luck will be incredible today. Yeah, I just shit out a giant fucking cone. My anus is distended and I now have a prolapsed colon. Th yeah, my, my luck is amazing. Act on that long time crush you have or buy a lottery ticket quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna go walk up to my crush and tell her, Hey, I was looking through my shit this morning and I thought that, you know, it might be a good time to ask you out. The coil, you should really take up a hobby or buy a pet. 
You are becoming a boring person and perhaps are eating too much. You're becoming a boring person who has so much time that they can sift through their shit. Oh my god. Alright, this was a good website. We learned some things. We learned some things. Neuromancers? That's a thing? I think this might be a double episode, everybody. We're gonna be looking at shit and piss and telling the future. Who knew? Uh-oh. Oh no. We're attempting to enter a private internet forum, everybody. Wish to join as a member to this private establishment and that any communication taking place here is considered private communication which you cannot publicly disclose or disseminate. Oh, I think I'm doing a bad... Uh-oh, I think I'm being a bad boy. Even in this forum where these people kind of believe this weird shit, um... Nobody believes it's scatomancy. Feces therapy? What? Oh no, you're not... You're not serious. To cure homosexuality, the gay male client bottles his feces, and when he experiences desire for sodomy, he opens it up and takes a whiff. The aim is to remind gay men where they stick their penis and that homosexual relations are not pleasurable. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> well, we've looked at your th Vomit therapy! Oh, dude, yeah! Sign me up for that one! Oh, here we go, everybody. Fecal transplant enema at home. We can do this at home, everybody. We can transplant somebody else's shit into... Oh my god. Hi, today I will show you how to prepare a fecal transplant enema at home. Um, it is a method that is low cost, very easy, and highly effective. We have been doing fecal transplant on my daughter for the past nine months. Then I have a hat. We call it a poop hat, and this is where I put my sample. Oh no. Um, it's just easier that way. I don't think you need one of these, but I'm not going to have one. Um, a disposable enema bottle. I use these saline enemas, like a fleet enema. So this woman is pumping her own shit into her daughter's ass? And calling it medicine? Oh my god! I mean, let's just, uh, uh, pra practicing? Copromancers. I don't know, maybe we'll find a list? No, not necromancers, you stupid! Ugh! And now they've got me linked to cop romance? What? It's just a shame, I was looking forward to doing this stupid freaking video and and now it seems like I can't... Yellow, yellow poop. Green poop. The fecal aficionado! From two months ago, this is current! Look at this boy, eight seconds. This is getting right to the point. Holy shit, this is insane. My poop is so green. And we couldn't see. Are you, you fuck? You fuck! Oh, it's right there. Okay, my green poop. That's my poop. Oh man, it's so green. That's crazy. That's insane. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Passing stool in a hurry. Rajat Kumar. Guys, I really don't want to be that guy, but this is- they're not making it easy for me, guys. There's a lot of people showing off their shit, but no- no Coppermancers. Hard Poop and the Afterburn. That is a beautiful name for, like, a prog band or something. Beautiful. Okay, well, I think that's sadly about it, frankly, for the Coppermancy thing. Tried to go down a whole rabbit hole, but really there's not that much info about this stuff. Yeah, I'm not really finding that much. It, it, could it be that there's not actually that many Coppermancers out there? I, I find that hard to believe. Anyways, yeah, that that was the that was the video. Thanks for thanks for watching, and and we'll see you next time. And uh keep those Poops flowing. Don't don't constipate yourself. Have fiber. Eat eat fiber. Have a healthy diet of fiber and things that Yeah, okay, bye.